Welcome back to Stats Impact for Friday, July 28th of 2023. All right. Let's get our number rolled. Let's see what we can do. Oh, we got a two. All right. We'll see what Rebecca picks out of there. What? And we do have Series 2 in there from this year. We switched that out. All right. We got Series 2 from last year. Let's open that up and see what we got. Uh, right now in the standings, Baltimore has overtaken Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay hasn't been playing well lately. Uh, Minnesota has got a two-game lead over Cleveland in the Central, and Texas two games over Houston. And Atlanta has a 10-game lead over Philly, Milwaukee over Cincinnati, and L.A. over the Dodgers over the Giants. All right, she picked out a bot thing over there. All right. All right, let's see what she got out of here. She just grabbed one at random. I think we have, what, one... Do we have one thing left in there? Yes. Okay, maybe we'll switch that up. I don't know. Mark Bauman, rookie. It's a Bauman. All right. This is where they all went wrong last year with top stuff. Between Series 2 and whatever else. Looks like we have something in there. A bunch of different inserts. All right, this year, wow. Seven wins, no losses, 3.47 ERA, 45 games, no game started. 49.1 innings pitched with 52 strikeouts. So, like, he's a relief pitcher, but gee whiz, 7-0, and that's pretty good. Put him up there. Plus, he's with the first place Orioles, so that's a good one, too. Cole Calhoun. I think he used to play down here in Salt Lake City with the Bees and the Angels. Now he's with the Rangers. Dodgers minor league team. So let's see what happened to him. Go over here to minor league baseball. Turn that over and see how much he's played. Alright, he's with the Oklahoma City. He's been playing... 2012 was his first year. Yep. Played with the Diamondbacks last year. Oh, wait. Yep. Sorry about that. Nah, Diamondbacks in 21 last year with... All right, here's what he's doing this year. 215 at-bats, 43 runs, 64 hits, 7 home runs, 41 RBIs, no slow base with a 298 average. So at 35 years old down in minor league, he may not get back to the big league. And it says his nickname is Koleski. So who knows? How about your bias? Not having a good season. Ever since he was really good with the cub, just kind of no good. All right, here's what he's doing. 373 at bats, 40 runs, 84 hits, 7 home runs, 47 RBIs, nice loan base with a 225 average. Yeah, not very good, so put him over there with Cole Calhoun. Otto Lopez, Ricky. There was like a Glenn Otto last year and an Otto Lopez. All right, he's on the Miners team. Let's see. I think we've gone over him before. Let's see, right here. All right. Takes a little while on this to pop the names up and stuff, so... All right, he's with Buffalo. Triple A team for the Blue Jays. 24-year-old. 303 at-bats, 45 runs, 76 hits, two home runs, 31 RBIs, 12 stolen base with a 251 average. All right, over in the pile there. Brandon Woodruff. All right, with the Brewers. All right, Brandon Woodruff's stats started in 2017. He's on the 60-day injured list. So far this year, he is. One win, no losses, 0.79 ERA, two games, two games started, 11.1 innings pitched with 12 strikeouts. So it looks like he got injured really early in the season. All right, put him over there. Shane Baugh's rookie. Ooh, we got some kind of orange card or something like that. Could be a good one, you never know. 
Shane Boz. He's injured also, but this year, well, he hasn't even played this year. Maybe he had some kind of Tommy John surgery or something. I have no idea. But he goes in the no good pile for this year. Zach Plesak. All right, Zach Plesak. All right, he's in the minors for the Guardians. Man, boo on a lot of these things. Let's see. All right, Columbus Clippers, I think that is. Yep, Columbus Clippers, age 28. Two wins, four losses, 6.18 year rate, 10 games, nine games started, 43.2 innings pitched with 38 strikeouts. All right, what I want you to do is let's pull from the back first. We'll see that the hits next, so let's leave him up. Who do we have next? Pablo Lopez. All right, yeah. A lot of these players are just not doing so well, or they're in the minors. Pablo Lopez has stats since 2018. All right. Minnesota Twins. Five wins, six losses, 4.13 year rate, 21 games, 21 games started, 128.2 innings pinched with 160 strikeouts. So averaging way more than one uh, strikeout per inning, so that's pretty good. Alright. Who's the next one? Sixto Sanchez. Future stars. Sixto Sanchez. Alright, he's in the minors. What the heck? Now we're going back over here to the minors again. I mean, we could have a good AAA All Star team. That would be fine. Let's see. Jacksonville. It's the Jumbo Shrimp for the Marlins. So he's not doing anything down there either. Doesn't look like he has any stats, so who knows what he's doing. It just says on uh, here it's, he's in the minors with the 40-man. I don't know. So we're going to put him over there in the note pile. And then we're going to pull from the back a couple more times. Miguel Rojas. All right. There were very few big-time rookies in this one because they were holding the big three out for everything. And Los Angeles Dodgers. 235 at-bats, 29 runs, 52 hits. No home runs, 11 RBIs, 7 stone base with a 221 average. Alright, put him in the note pile. I think they made up for it this year. I've seen the stuff they've been doing with... Uh... Yuli Guriel. Yeah, and he's the World Series champ. I've seen the stuff they've done uh, with Chrome, and it's pretty good. Seeing people... Hold the frozen factors, taco fractors, all that stuff. So I've had a chance to look at that. Um, he's with the Miami Marlins now. 219 at bats, 24 runs, 58 hits, 3 home runs, 19 RBIs, 4 stone base with a 265 average. Okay. We'll put him over here maybe because he's doing okay. All right. Let's see. We got JD Martinez, stars of MLB. All right. J.D. Martinez, I can't remember where he's at. Let's see. He's with the Dodgers now. 323 at-bats, 48 runs, 84 hits, 25 home runs, 74 RBIs, one slow base with a 260 average. All right, we'll put him over here next to Yuli Gurriel. Let's see what else we got here. Adam Duvall, significant statistics. That's a cool card. All right, Adam Duvall. All right. 143 at-bats, 23 runs, 37 hits, 8 home runs, 28 RBIs, 4 stolen base with a 259 average, and he's with the Red Sox. Okay. We'll put him over here in the maybe pile. All right. What, do we, what else do we have? Just the orange one? Let's see what we got for our orange foil board here. Lance Lynn. That's a nice-looking card. Uh... 
White Sox are not playing very well. Let's see. Lance Lynn. Six wins, nine losses, 6.47 year rate, 21 games, 21 games started, 119.3 innings pitched with 144 strikeouts. All right, let's see what it's number two on the back there. It is. 142 out of 299. Oops, a little blurry there. Doesn't want to focus in on that. All right, let's see if we can get it closer. 142 out of 299. There we go. Put them on there because it's just a it's a hit. And then we'll put some of these other cool looking cards on there. And he did have a he's having a halfway decent season. But yeah, let us know what you thought. The uh, series two from last year. Uh, it's fun to open some of the older stuff, even though it's a year old. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll be back on Monday with more stats and packs. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.